obviously a good opening start for us. Thought we played pretty well defensively. Uh, did a nice job of guarding the ball and uh, defending the three. And then uh, offensively, I thought we did better in terms of sharing it. Didn't like our turnovers tonight. Obviously, Josh was a little excited and got a little loose with it. But uh, assist numbers were, were pretty good. And I thought, you know, just it was a good way for everybody to get to play and, uh, you know, produce. So I, I was very pleased with, with the first performance. Question? Coach, 19 points for Hunter in just 15 minutes. Had to be good to see him get off to the start you did. Yeah, obviously, he made shots. Um, you know, he's probably the most comfortable guy right now. Just been here so long and just used to it and uh, we got him some good looks. I thought Chase did a good job finding him a couple times in the second half especially and he knocked down some shots. Alex knocked in a couple. That was good to see as well. So yeah, good good performance for sure by him. Does it feel like you kind of ripped off the band-aid like all right we're kind of that next step and you're gearing up for Monday? Yeah, I hope so. You know, we've been going a while, obviously, with the trip to France. You know, it feels like we've played against each other a lot. Um, and our guys are, you know, excited to play somebody else. Um, that was good today. You know, we've had that in a scrimmage. And so now it's, you know, the, the game start. And we, we've got a really busy month. We've got a lot of games that come in quick. So, you know, our team is still young. We've got a lot of guys that are learning what's going on out there. But today was good because they got to play a lot. We get to get some film. and. We'll do a lot of teaching off the film here the next couple of days, and then you know at the same time we got to prepare for Citadel. Coach, how do you feel that uh, transfer Brandon Galloway has settled in so far now that coming back mm -hmm. from France and then yeah. you know practicing with the guys? Yeah, I think he's team. doing a good job. Yeah, Brevin's doing a, a nice job. Obviously, he didn't those guys didn't play a ton tonight, right. but um, you know he was opportunistic. You know he's got a nice mix to his game. He can drive it a little bit. He can make threes. Um, and his defensive yeah, and he got a couple steals, you know, which he can do. I, he just, he's just experienced, and our team needs that. You know, we've got so many young guys out there, first and second year players, that, you know, to have another older guy, I think, is really critical for us. And you know, he plays in a game like this, and he's very relaxed. And you know, uh, I thought he, he did a nice job in his short time out there. Coach, ten points for Wiggins tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. Played a lot of minutes. Obviously, you got to look at the film, but how do you feel about how he played? Uh, pleased. Uh, I thought he, you know, I thought he was pretty relaxed. You know, he didn't shoot it as well from the perimeter, but um, I was glad to see him rebound the basketball and try to make some plays in the paint and um, use his size. That's, you know, we just keep pushing him as he gets more comfortable to, to keep making different kinds of plays, not just be a, um, you know, a one-dimensional type of guy. We want him to play a lot of different ways and use his length and size and athleticism. And, um, I thought, you know, he was very comfortable and confident for a young guy. He did a good job. The starting five tonight, is that kind of the, the plan for the group while uh, PJ's recovering still? Yeah, right now it is. Just, to, you know, we just kind of let the most experienced guys go. Um, you know, I would obviously I thought the best four minutes we played was the first four minutes of the second half. Um, I just I kind of challenged our guys at halftime that, you know, they weren't going to get a lot of minutes in the second half and that they needed to. I wanted to see them, you know, start well um, and really just kind of shut the door on the game, and they did that. Um, so, but, you know, we'll play a lot of guys. A lot of guys I think are worthy and, and have worked really hard. And, um, you know, some of the freshmen played well. Some may, you know, stumbled at times, but it was really good. I think, you know, our size was a factor, and that was good to see tonight. Any, That's right. Sorry, Tristan. Anything new on PJ this past nah, week? No, nah, no, just, he's still just trying to get his legs under him. They, they pressed you a bit tonight. Uh, how do you feel like Chase and, and the others did with that? Yeah, they did a nice job. I thought, uh, you know, we had high turnovers, but I don't think Chase did. I think Chase only had one. Um, you know, and he just, he knows how to play. I mean, he just, he got it up to the pot, the spots that he needed to, got rid of it when it was open, made a couple plays. You know, I thought he just kind of let the game come to him, um, took a couple more shots in the second half. but. Um, you know, we did a nice job against the 2-2-1, two, two, and they picked up, you know, a little bit of man. They weren't super aggressive, but they were up there enough and hedging some ball screens that you could have turned it over if you weren't paying attention, and he did a nice job. Beetle had a nice game. There was, there was one play he 
dove for a loose ball. I think we were up like 35 or 40 points yeah. at that point. And then he hits a three. Uh, yeah, he's and excited to play. You yeah. know, Josh just hasn't, you know, and he's obviously waited, you know, a full year with the red shirt. He wants to be out there and, you know, we got to get him to, you know, tone down his speed some. He's, he's quick, he can get by people, he can make a shot, he can do a lot of things. He's just got to, you know, play the game with poise. Um, and sometimes he does, and occasionally he gets so excited he, he's trying to make a play on every catch. And, uh, you know, a couple of times I got him tonight where he's just got to relax and let it play. And, um, but it's good, and it's good for him to be out there and, um, you know, continue to gain confidence. Alex made his first couple of threes, yep. um, picking up where he left off in France. Yeah. It seems like he's, he's developed into a pretty good defender on the ball. Is, is you know, I think he's an underrated defender. Um, his position is, you know, he's usually A in positioning. He's in the right spot. Um, he does a little better job of guarding the ball than people realize. Um, obviously, adding strength has helped since his freshman year. And then he's just got some wisdom. You know, he's just been playing a lot, so he knows where to be. And he can, you know, he follows scouting report stuff really well. And just, he does a nice job. You know, and, and uh, he's he's done a nice job in both both our scrimmage and exhibition of guarding guarding his man and being in the right spot defensively. You're talking to Ben about putting on some good muscle in the mm-hmm. offseason. Look like Ian's put on some some good but, weight too. Yeah, they both have. They both have really, um, you know, they've had the kind of offseason that you would expect from a, a freshman to a sophomore, which I think, you know, those guys got enough playing time as freshmen to get a taste of it. Um, and obviously at the end with P.J. Hurt, they got even more. And so that got them pretty excited, you know. And then they're hard workers. They're good kids. They're hard workers. They want to be good players. And so they're very coachable. And so they hit the weight room. They did a nice job, you know, in the offseason with Coach Bender continuing to work on their skills. And they're both just improving players. And, uh, you know, that's what you expect for guys who are taking that second year at, at next jump. How do you guys spend these next few days, and, and what can you realistically expect to improve by Monday when you take the court again? Yeah, it's hard. These, I mean, the first you know couple of weeks of the season are challenging because you don't have all the information on your opponents. You're, you're going in a little blind. You're going in with very minimal information, and so it's harder to prepare your team for games. Um, and so, you know, it's so different than when you're in you know, late December, January, February, by that time, everybody's pretty much who they are and doing what they do. And some people occasionally make a few changes, but you know, these first two, three weeks of the season, it's, you know, it's a little hard. Um, And so you really focus on your team a lot and try to get your team as sound as you can on the things that you need and then do a few things to get yourself ready for what you might face. But uh, a lot of times you're guessing a little bit. Looks like uh, Chase's brother Dylan has pretty good poise for a freshman. Yeah, he played well tonight. He just, I, I just keep saying it, but he's very solid. I think maybe seven points, four assists, one turnover, and he does a good job defensively. He gets his hands on balls. He's in the gap. He's knocking balls down. He's, uh, he guards his man. He fights through ball screens. He's strong. He's just a really, he's a good, solid player. I mean, for a young guy to be as, as physically ready and then just, in the right spots as often as he is. He, he, he did another nice job tonight. You know, I thought he came in in the first half and his first few minutes, I thought he played well, you know, and, and really I don't think he, he just doesn't go up and down that much. He just is what he is. And it's usually pretty good basketball. And uh, it, it's, you know, I'm really pleased with the way he started. Any more questions for Thanks Coach? Thanks everybody. Appreciate it. Appreciate y'all being here. Can I ask one? Sorry, I've got sick kids, so I couldn't make it. No back. worries. Oh, no. Uh, just, just looking at the box score, just seeing Wiggins and Godfrey with eight and seven rebounds, is that encouraging and what yeah. you'd like to see from them? Yeah, that's you know that's where we're challenging those two guys. They've got to, you know, RJ's natural. He's naturally going to rebound like that. I think Chauncey, we've got to keep pushing him to be as aggressive on both ends that way. Um, but that was that's a real positive, you know. RJ didn't finish around the rim as well as I think he can, but today, but uh, you know, just his strength and his athleticism, you know, it shows. I think you know one of the things, just defensive rebounding for us was good and just a little extra length uh, when those guys are playing, shooting over them, pe- over uh, having to shoot over them is challenging. Um, so I thought those guys had good first games. And then 
then one more on um, Chauncey. Just with him, uh, I, I know you mentioned kind of he has a pretty high ceiling. Is, is that part yeah. of wanting to get him 24 minutes a day and try to get him those reps? Uh, just, you know, partly want to get him a lot of minutes right now. Just as many of those freshmen, as many minutes as we could to just get experience, right? And, you know, we didn't need our older guys as much uh, tonight, so we, we just kind of force fed them. Um, and then just seeing what they can do, right? Just putting them out there and letting them get experience and get get film and so we can coach them, right? Show them things they're doing well and talk to them about a couple things that, you know, we probably have talked to them already about that they've got to continue to work on. But, um, you know, the game experience is very valuable for those guys. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? All good? Okay. okay.